Hello guys, welcome back to Chris Poly channel. This video I want to share about recommendation crystal combination for your crystal preset. But be notice, all this crystal recommendation is not the best preset since the best combination is depend on your needs. I just show you any possible crystal that you can use to get maximum number of specific status. Okay, to enjoy watch my video, make sure you turn on this video subtitle. And also you can use timestamp that I already provide to go to target topic that you want. And if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notification to get any update and guide on Black Desert World. Okay, let's start this video content using any feature that I provide. Okay, after for January 2023 maintenance update, we just got huge update about crystal preset. And for more detail about this new crystal preset mechanic, actually I already explained it for more detail on my previous video when I test it on global lab server. And right now, after this update come to our live server, I just try again all this mechanic and all content on this video still work until now. So for more detail for basic information about this new crystal preset mechanic, you can check this video first. Okay, now I will show you any combination crystal that I can recommend to maximize your status, but before that, I want to remind you to get maximum status from your crystal preset there are three slots that you need to unlock so you can equip these three additional crystal to maximize your status that normally if you didn't unlock this three crystal slot you only can wear 12 crystal per preset but if you unlock additional three crystal you can wear maximum 14 crystal plus one costume crystal that i will show you later and to unlock these two crystal at top of this crystal preset, you need to imbue your awakening weapon using Garmoth Heart. As you can see, for example, my awakening weapon for my guardian class already imbue using Garmoth Heart. So my guardian awakening weapon become Fiery Jordan on its name. And as you can see on this item description, because I already imbue it using Garmoth Heart, on this item description got some information about extra crystal slot plus two can be used equipping gear. And to imbue this weapon to become like this, you need this inverted heart of Garmoth that this item actually processed item from Garmoth heart that you can get it with low chance when defeating world boss Garmoth. But once again, you also can get this inverted heart of Garmoth directly by doing special suggested questland that you only can do it once per account to get this inverted heart of Garmoth. And about this questline, you can check from in-game by pressing O. From this quest page, you can go to suggested tab and then search about this combat level level 60, study the time of dragon of inverted heart of Garmoth. There are 16 quests that you can do to finish this quest line, and at the end, you can get this resplendent moonlight chest that if you open this box, you can get instantly inverted heart of Garmoth. And for more detail about any item that you need to finish this quest, I already share it on my spoiler preparation video that I released long time ago. But take notice, make sure you use this inverted heart of Garmoth on your awakening weapon to unlock this plus two crystal slot because if you use this inverted heart of Garmoth to your sub weapon you will not unlock this plus two crystal slot because you only get this status from your sub weapon if you imbue it using this inverted heart of Garmoth and alternate way you also can use this heart of Karanda but take notice for this heart of Karanda this is only will unlock one crystal slot if you imbue your awakening weapon using this heart of Karanda and you can get this heart of Karanda by encountering Strombringer Karanda, hardest version for World Boss Karanda. And the last slot on the middle of this crystal preset menu, actually this is outfit crystal, that this crystal slot at the middle, you only can wear special crystal that you get from processing crafted outfit. And there are only three crystal that available to put on this outfit crystal slot, either to get movement level plus two, critical hit plus one, or attack speed and casting speed level plus one. And to unlock this slot, you need this item called Black Spirit. Claw, that you can craft this black spirit claw using three pieces black spirit claw piece that you can get it by low chance by killing any monster on black desert world and you also can get it from central market if have stock as you can see if i have three pieces black spirit claw and i just turn off my auto arrange and arrange it in horizontal arrangement this plus button will appear and if i click this plus button i just got this black spirit claw one piece 
And to use this Black Spirit Claw, you just need to right click this item and you will automatically call your Black Spirit and go to Enhancement menu and just go to Per Character Inventory and make sure you have any per item that you can wear on your character. And for my example, I will choose this Guardian Sakura Armor to enhance it using this Black Spirit Claw to unlock this Crystal Slot. And after you're ready, you just need to start enhancing and this is 100% guarantee to success. And after that, as you can see, my Guardian Sakura Sakura Armor, this outfit have special description, outfit crystal slot can be used after equipping gear, so if you equip this gear that already process using Black Spirit Claw, if you check your preset menu again, as you can see crystal slot at the middle of this menu already unlock, but take notice once again on this crystal slot, you only can wear any crystal that you craft previously from any craftable outfit, and for more detail to get this crystal, you need another per item, equipment tailoring coupon, and how to use this equipment tailoring coupon, you can check my previous video for more detail info. And as always, I already put link for this video in this video description. You can check it for more detail. Okay, after you know about function and how to unlock all these three additional crystal slot, I will show you any possible crystal that you can wear to get maximum status for your needs. Okay, first I will show you to get full combat and skill experience from your crystal. I recommend you to use this resplendent critic crystal at Adventures that will give you maximum combat XP and skill XP that you only can get it from seasonal content. And until I record this video, we only can get this resplendent kiddie crystal adventures to pieces per season. And starting from winter season 2022, we can get this kiddie crystal adventures to pieces in form of this resplendent kiddie crystal box. That you can get this kiddie crystal box from your season pass that you can get it by free without need to unlock your black spirit pass. As you can see, this is resplendent kiddie crystal box that you can get after you finishing season pass mission how to get powerful accessory to. And for more detail how to finish this season pass from your seasonal character, you can follow my guide from season pass full guide that I record from last season Drakania because mostly all content on this video still work until now. And as you can see, actually until I record this video, I still collecting this resplendent kiddie crystal adventures by playing seasonal character for every season. So I just put all this resplendent KD crystal to my account crystal bag that this crystal bag is share for all character in your account. And take notice you only can put 50 crystal at the same time but you can use all this crystal on 5 preset as you want. So one crystal on crystal bag you can use for multiple preset on this list. And until I record this video, Prebis just give us 5 preset at the same time that we can use it to save 5 crystal preset at the same time. But maybe Prebis will expand maximum number crystal preset in future. And back to our crystal preset that I want to show you to get maximum buff for combat and skill experience from this crystal preset. But because I only have 6 pieces resplendent kiddie crystal adventures, for the rest I will use this kiddie crystal adventures. Actually this is all type of kiddie crystal that will give additional combat XP only. And actually we can craft this kiddie crystal adventures using this kiddie crystal heirloom as material that mostly we can get this kiddie crystal heirloom from login rewards. Okay, just put the rest Kiddy Crystal Adventure on this crystal bag and you can rename this crystal preset depend on your needs. For my example for this fifth preset, I will name it as Experience Preset and then first make sure you fill this 12 crystal on this crystal preset on any 12 slot that you didn't need to unlock because this 3 crystal slot that I unlocked before, this is can be locked again if you using this preset on another character that didn't have their awakening weapon imbue with current or Garamot Heart and also their outfit didn't unlock using Black Spirit Claw. So make sure you prioritize first 12 crystal that you put on this crystal preset on this 12 available slot that available for all character in your account. Okay, first I will put this resplendent kiddie crystal adventure on this free 12 crystal slot. And after that, the rest crystal, I just put any low priority crystal on this slot. And then the last two slot that you just open it using Karanda or Garmot Heart, you can put any crystal with low priority because these two crystal might not unlock in another character who didn't have Karanda Heart or Garmot Heart imbue on their awakening weapon. And last for crystal slot at the middle, this is outfit crystal. As 
you can see, I cannot put any normal crystal on this slot. And once again, you need special outfit crystal for filling this slot. That once again, how to get this outfit crystal, I show you on this special video that you need to use this equipment tailoring coupon on your crafted outfit and process it to get this outfit crystal that you want. Okay, just put this crystal on crystal bag and then just equip the last crystal slot at the middle using this crystal outfit. As you can see, all my crystal preset are the full and you just need to click apply to apply all status on this crystal preset. And if you open your character window and hover your cursor on this crystal effect menu, you will see any status that you get from this crystal that you equip from your crystal preset. And as you can see, because this is my guardian that already unlock all crystal slot from her awakening weapon and also from her outfit. For example, if I switch my character to my lan that wearing her awakening weapon imbued by Garanda Heart, if I try to equip this crystal preset, as you can see, this crystal slot become gray. And also because my LAN outfit didn't imbue using Black Spirit Claw, this outfit crystal slot also got locked. So when I apply this crystal preset, as you can see, all status that my LAN got is only from 13 crystal that available. And she didn't get any benefit from additional one crystal and also outfit crystal that she equipped. And when I check my Wosa character, actually my Wosa character is seasonal character. And when I record this video, Wosa class still didn't have any awakening update. So she cannot wear any awakening weapon. But if you play any class who didn't get awakening update yet, after you do succession quest line, you will get this special item that called Marnie Pocket Watch. Actually, this Marnie Pocket Watch is special item that you can equip it to fill your awakening weapon slot. And you can imbue this Marnie Pocket Watch using Karanda Heart or Garmot Heart to unlock additional crystal slot for any class that you play that didn't have awakening update yet. And for more detail about this Marnie Pocket Watch, I already discussed it for more detail on this special video about Marnie Pocket Watch guide that you can check it for more detail. But once again, this Marnie Pocket Watch only can be wear by any normal character and seasonal character cannot equip this Marnie Pocket Watch. And because my Wosa character is seasonal character, and when I record this video, this Wosa class didn't have awakening update yet, so she cannot equip anything on her awakening slot. And as you can see, when I check my crystal preset for my Wosa class as seasonal character, these two crystal slot become gray, and also this outfit crystal also got gray because I didn't imbue my Wosa outfit using Black Spirit Claw. And as you can see, when I apply this crystal preset, my Wosa only got any benefit from 12 crystal that available for her. So by all this information, make sure you prioritize your crystal on this free 12 slot that available for all character because this 3 additional slot can be locked when you using it on any other character in your account. And be careful when you wearing this crystal preset because as I already mentioned before, on basic information about this crystal preset that I guide you on this info and guide video, if you die and any death penalty apply, your crystal still can broken if you got this death penalty. And once again, this death penalty still apply if you dead in some PvE and also if you dead with any reason if your character got negative karma. So be careful about this destroyed crystal. And I personally will not wear this crystal preset for any alternate character that I use to encounter any world boss. So if your alternate character who attend world boss die with any reason, you didn't need to worry to lose your crystal from your crystal preset. Okay, now I will show you about any crystal preset that I recommend to get maximum status from this content. I just use this garmot.com to show you any possible crystal preset that I recommend on this video. That if you access this website garmot.com, you can go to their gear planner. And gladly on this website or the update this crystal planner for this new update that you can plan your crystal preset. And as you can see, this is my dream for combat and skill XP crystal preset that I recommend to use 14 pieces resplendent kid crystal adventures for all this crystal slot. That this preset will give you additional combat XP plus 280 and also skill XP plus 140%. And also you will get additional survivability status like 700 HP and 70 point HP recovery. But from this crystal preset, this is just additional status because the main status is to get this combat 
combat XP and skill XP. And once again, if you didn't have this resplendent kiddy crystal adventures, you can swap this resplendent kiddy crystal adventures using this kiddy crystal adventure that I show you before. But once again, if you didn't have this kiddy crystal adventure, you also can use another crystal like magic crystal of infinity experience to get 10% combat XP separately and also magic crystal of infinity skill to get skill XP plus 10% separately. So you can use any crystal that you have on your account and next preset to get maximum accuracy for your character I recommend you to use two pieces crystal of Elkar because this is maximum number of crystal Elkar that you can wear on one preset and then I recommend you to use this Jin Magic Crystal Viper two pieces to get additional 20 accuracy per crystal and then you can wear two pieces Black Magic Crystal Ensnare that will give you additional 8 accuracy per crystal and the rest you can use Magic Crystal of Infinity Precision that will give you 8 accuracy and for this magic crystal of infinity precision you also can combine it with magic crystal of infinity and snare because these two type of crystal didn't have maximum limit to wear this crystal and you also can replace this magic crystal of infinity and snare and this magic crystal of infinity precision that have same status with any crystal that I show you on this list by replacing this crystal you will get less accuracy but you also will get additional status from any other crystal on this list and as you can see if you use maximum accuracy build that I show you on this screen this is will give you additional 144 accuracy if you wear it on your character and advantage for this preset some of this crystal is cheap crystal that you can get it from central market Okay, next crystal preset to maximize your maximum HP. I recommend you to equip two pieces rebellious spirit crystal that will give you 175 HP per crystal. And also bone magic crystal cobelinus two pieces that will give you additional 150 HP per crystal. And the rest slot you can use ancient magic crystal cobelinus for any other 10 slot on this crystal preset. And total you will get additional 1650 maximum HP from this preset. And you can replace this 10 pieces ancient magic crystal cobelinus that I show you on this screen to become any other magic crystal that will give you additional plus 100 HP from this list that I show you on this screen. But this is up to you to use any crystal that will give you less than 100 point to get additional status from those crystal. But once again, this is will reduce your maximum HP that you can get from this crystal preset. And next for crystal preset that will give you full AP but for PvE. I recommend you to wear two pieces glorious crystal of glantary akrat two pieces that will give you extra AP against monster 7 point for its crystal and also two pieces rebellious spirit crystal that will give you extra AP against monster and also hidden AP plus 5 point so total you will get 10 point AP for PvE from each of this rebellious spirit crystal and the rest lot you can wear this ancient magic crystal of crimson flame power that will give you additional 5 AP per crystal that you can wear it unlimitedly for the rest of this slot and by wearing two pieces this glorious crystal of glantary akrat and two pieces this rebellious spirit crystal and 10 pieces ancient magic crystal of crimson flame power you will get additional 24 AP against monster and also 60 hidden AP so in total you will get 84 AP from this crystal preset for PvE and for more detail information about this status for all AP and any other status against specific monster I already discussed about this content about logo besides monster health bar guide to maximize your damage against specific type of monster or player you can check it for more detail about this information and for this ancient magic crystal of crimson flame power you can replace it using any crystal that will give you hidden AP plus 5 with any other status Jin Magic Crystal Karmai, Red Battlefield Crystal Power, or etc. But you also can freely to choose any crystal that you need to get additional status from any other crystal. But for sure if you wear any crystal that will give you less than 5 AP, this is will reduce maximum AP that you can get by wearing this crystal preset. And next is recommendation for full AP but for PvP. 
For PvP, I recommend you to wear two pieces red battlefield crystal viper that will give you extra damage to human 10 point for its crystal and also two pieces glorious crystal of glantari or lucas that will give you extra damage to human 7 point per crystal and two pieces red battlefield crystal karmai that will give you extra damage to human 8 point per crystal and two pieces red spirit crystal that will give you extra damage to human 3 point and 5 point for hidden epi per crystal and the rest 6 slot you can wear this ancient magic crystal of crimson flame power that will give you hidden ap plus 5 for its crystal and total this is will give you extra damage to human plus 56 point and also hidden ap plus 40 and in total this is will give you additional 96 point ap for pvp and once again you can replace this ancient magic crystal of crimson flame power to become any crystal that will give you additional ap plus 5 point depend on your needs to get additional status but once again you also can replace it using any crystal that you need to get those status and my next recommendation is crystal preset to get full evasion and this is for evasion build i recommend you to wear this ancient magic crystal of enhancement agility two pieces that will give you 20 point evasion per crystal and then i recommend you to wear black magic crystal agility two pieces that will give you additional 8 point evasion per crystal and then i recommend you to wear this magic crystal of infinity special evasion that will give you special attack evasion rate plus 10 percent about this special attack evasion rate actually this evasion will work for any damage from special attack like critical down attack air attack and any other special attack that's shown on screen and the rest 8 slot you can wear this magic crystal of infinity agility that will give you additional evasion at point and because this magic crystal of infinity agility you can equip it on same preset unlimitedly so you can fill all this slot using this kind of magic crystal of infinity agility and in total from this preset you will get 120 point evasion and also 20% special attack evasion rate for your character and you also can replace this magic crystal of infinity agility using this magic crystal of infinity seeds that will give you seeds weapon evasion rate plus 10 point and this status is useful to avoid any attack from seeds weapon during not war and seeds war but you only can wear this seeds weapon evasion crystal two pieces on your preset and next recommendation for crystal preset for full damage reduction status i recommend you to wear two pieces dark red fine crystal armor that will give you additional damage reduction seven point per crystal and the rest 12 crystal you can wear this ancient magic crystal of abundance armor that will give you damage reduction five point per crystal and from this preset this is will give you additional damage reduction 74 point for your character and you also can replace this ancient magic crystal of abundance armor using any crystal that will give you damage reduction 5 point with additional status like this gene magic crystal cobelinus or any other crystal and take notice if you use any other crystal that will give you less than 5 point damage reduction for sure total damage reduction that you can get is lower than i show you on this screen but this is up to you to get additional status from any other crystal and the last is additional info to get maximum weight limit from your crystal preset. I recommend you to wear this one magic crystal cobelinus two pieces that its crystal will give you additional weight limit 50 LT and then I recommend you to wear two pieces bone magic crystal hysteria that will give you additional 50 LT from its crystal and the rest slot for this crystal preset you can wear hand magic crystal gervis total 10 pieces from this preset and from this preset this is will give you additional weight limit 500 LT and this 500 LT actually come from this combination for this hand magic crystal gervis and because you can wear this hand magic crystal gervis unlimitedly for its four pieces hand magic crystal this is will give you additional weight limit 75 lt so you can maximize this lt by using all this combination for your character okay that's all at basic preset to get maximum for eight status that i mentioned on this crystal preset 
And if you have any request for any other maximum status for this crystal preset, you can request it on this comment section. And also, if you have any other recommendation, you also can share your recommendation on this video description. Okay, that's all any crystal preset mechanic to maximize your status that I can share on this video. And special thanks to all my membership for direct support via Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. And also my current member, Dubia Dut, Jimmy Snake, Doki, Angel, Ayrton, Killsteel, Wemi, Bebu, Iliana Nico, Detraki, Divine Blur, as gold member. And also for all my silver and bronze member, thank you so much for all your direct support. This is will make Chris Poly channel running and growing more faster. If you want to support me directly, I will very grateful. And as special thanks, I will put your name on my video depend on your support level. And be noticed at some level there are have some limit, so make sure you didn't get run out for this limited space. And I will put your name on every subsequent video that I release for the duration of your support. And if you want to join my membership to support me directly, you can go to any platform for Patreon, Karya Karsa, and YouTube membership. I already put link for this membership on this video description. Or you can check on top right of this video, I already put card for Patreon link. Okay guys, that's all my recommendation crystal combination for your crystal preset. Hope this video can be useful for you. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe to my channel for another guide and update. Thank you for watching. See you next time.